It's great to wake up in the morning and feel great every day to the rest of your life. And it's great to every time that you check in your own direct experience to see that you're okay regardless of the current description that might, might pop up in your beautiful mind. And this, this is a reality that all of us can enjoy. I, I for sure enjoy it every day and night, regardless of the many dynamic display and descriptions data of my beautiful experience. What I used to take myself to be was very limited, was very, very limited. It was based on an idea that I'm a closed system of intelligence with cer certain experiences, certain thoughts and emotions, data that I needed to rearrange in order to maybe reach a state in the future, and the future always went somewhere else, that maybe then I'll be complete, I'll feel mature, um, I'll feel satisfied. But we all know, right? Doesn't work. And with all the great attempts to achieve life satisfaction and flourishing based on rearranging of data, you know, assuming that some data are better than others, like shyness is, you'll put it in category negative and feeling um, in love will be higher category and, and the neutral one like indifference will be somewhere in the middle. This, this is not correct and what we want to see is that in every thought and emotion there is the total vibe and total potency of benefit for all. So you can call it shyness and take it to be what you took it to be for I don't know 20, 30, 40 years or you can really as a great scientist and, 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 and someone who wants to explore reality you check it out from the reality of the four mainstays of balanced view and see what really, what, what, it, what it is really there? Appearance, shining forth, like anything, stays for a while, you know, okay, shyness, I'm about to die, and then something else, you know, a beautiful man or lady is passing through you in the beach and you are totally somewhere else, and then, oh, the MP3 was stolen or got emptied. Whoa, so many s descriptions in one minute, so... You can choose stability and you can choose empowerment and this is the only message of balanced view that we might come here with the idea that we are victims and we are flawed and somehow incorrect or we need to work hard in order to achieve life satisfaction and flourishing and be of benefit to all. But in balanced view if you are open enough there is a direct cut a direct cut that shows that already here and now you have everything you need to live an empowered life an empowered life is not just a statement on a poster it's really empowered life like I can deal with all of my data I have great support to do so and I know which de decisions to make in every given moment this is an empowered life an empowered life is not about having the best descriptions you can about yourself not at all. This will be totally contrived. It's not, you know, when we think about uh, mental and emotional stability, sometimes it's like, okay, uh, ooh, ooh, um, wait, how can I do it? Should I surrender to the great force of nature? Who, who should do it? Um, should I let go of all of my negativity or... No, just let it be as it is. Huh. Let, let whatever shines forth at the moment be as it is can be intense, can be totally relaxed, allow it to be as it is, yeah, like you allow the space in which we are sitting here to be as it is. How simple it, it is, you know, just, just allow it to be as it is. And there we discover that we constantly rest in natural perfection. Shyness is a great one and social awkwardness, I know them very deeply and the choices there is, uh, are also very clear to me. Shyness to try and walk away, blame myself for feeling shy, socially awkward, for God's sake I'm 30, why it doesn't stop, or I'm 40 or 50. It, it, there's no empowerment there, but if you start to enjoy it a bit and challenge yourself, you see the inseparability of open intelligence and the current description. I'm, I guess that at least 99.9% .9 of the people sitting here and everywhere else while we're speaking felt at least once the rising of the data streams of, whoa, I'm socially awkward and I have no idea what to say now. 
So it's not just you, which is great. And then it starts to become funny because you're speaking to people all day long and they all feel the same probably. <laughs> and the competition in the reified world is who is showing off better and who is not looking like they're about to collapse because they don't feel comfortable. So like all the attempt and energy goes into rearranging our data into, okay, yeah, I'm really confident today and, you know, I'm really sexy and cool. I mean, go off, for God's sake. And, uh, you know, and using all of these primitive tools to feel okay with ourselves. But I found that short moments of opening intelligence really walk and, and clear away all of the confusion and put an end to misery and suffering, including the descriptions they don't feel comfortable. There are many of them. I mean, I'm blessed with great afflictions all of the time. <laughs> blessed with m many opportunities. Many opportunities. When affliction is there, it's a great opportunity. It's not like, oh, you're failing, go and fix yourself and then come back. It's really, wow, let, let it be as it is. Let it rage, let it go wild and see that you're totally fine. And, th and the four mainstays, of balance you, the four mainstays are the training, trainer, community, and short moments are available for you to clarify all your experiences and to extract the beneficial juice from your afflictive states or positive states or any data whatsoever. Everything is included. Everything, everything is included in the vast expanse of complete openness, sense of soothing energy and, and, and potency. Everything is totally included. The ability to make decisions from this vantage is great because first of all, you know, I shared in the beginning, I felt like a closed system of intelligence, which means that my options were very limited. For example, I thought that creativity comes only in a certain point through a certain point in my body, in a specific time and place, by chance, maybe. Whoa, okay, whoa. So I have 24 hours a day and maybe one minute of creativity. <coughs> this is ridiculous, you know, like, th this is really like, whoa, who wants to live in this way? But if you have creativity all of the time, in all of your data streams, everywhere you go with all people, ah, okay, benefit creation is cool. <laughs> And creativity is, is endless, like the sky, you know, you can really tap into it in every, in every short moment. And it looks exactly like you. <laughs> with all of your data, it looks exactly like you. With your weird and bizarre and beautiful life story, it looks exactly like you. Whatever your circumstance is, that's where we find empowerment and that's where we find stability. Not in someone else's story or someone, someone else's greatness. You know how in uh, seeking for reality in, like for example in spirituality, there's always that someone there up and you really know that you'll never reach there. But you hope and hope that you'll be there. That was my experience and, and with Balanced View everyone is getting it. So it's very simple. You look to the left, getting it right. Oh, oh wow, there you go. Whoa. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ah. There's an entire world of people getting it. Wow, for God's sake, this is exciting. I don't need to wait for one billion years <laughs> in order to be happy and empowered. It can really happen right now. <laughs> so if you want to participate in that, you are very welcome. And if you are not, you are also very welcome. But at one point, you'll see that you are participating in it whether you want it or not. Because <laughs> everyone around you is getting it. Getting it means feeling comfortable with ourselves, knowing that we have support for life and just producing benefit one moment at a time. Data is included, it's like the luster of a diamond, you know? It's like, you can say, the heat of the fire, not two, not two th things. And this is why terms like surrender and letting go are a bit confusing, because you like, need to choose between one or the other, but Allowing it to be as it is, we experience inseparability, not an intellectual boring thing, an idea about unity and inseparability, but really a lived experience. You want to check it out in your, in your everyday life. While brushing teeth, for example, I do it every day at least three times. 
Open intelligence is there, I have to admit. You know? Going to the toilet? Yeah. Oh, but it's not so sublime and exotic. <laughs> Maybe in India it is, you know, there's lots of things going on, but... What I'm trying to say, the mundane, the everyday life is included. It's not just the special states, you know, the special states, are, they get boring at one point. What becomes special is really the discovery of the treasure of gold in an island of gold that doesn't have any corners or edges or anything like that. In Balance View we take decisions based on the group wisdom, not on a hierarchy. So if it's, this is your assumption, I'm happy to tell you that as a grassroots movement, a global grassroots movement, we operate really different from any other organization, at least I've met, and I've been to few. So what we are interested in is the group wisdom. The vision and direction is very clear from the beginning, from the uh, initiating of this organization and movement. It was always the benefit of all. This is the bottom line. How can everyone experience what we experience for the benefit of all? And then decisions are made by asking people, what do you think? Do you have, what is your suggestion? And then listening openly. And by that, very naturally, the group wisdom forms itself, and then we take a decision. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't have leaders in the organization. We do have, because this is also an extreme, you know, thinking that we don't need leaders, everything is open intelligence. So if there wasn't any structure, beneficial and flexible structure, also no one could take decisions. So you see, it's very beautiful that your voice is, is really important, you always have the ability to share it very clearly, and then it adds to the group wisdom and benefit. This is how a center like this is created. It's not created by a bunch of idiots taking the decisions for you. Okay. For me, it sounds really good comparing to the current structure of politics and, and any other organization that I've met in my life. So, yeah, you're important. You are really important. When you stop victimizing yourself, you can see that you are important. And you have a great contribution to this world. And all of the, answer, all of the questions, they are answered one short moment at a time. And that's it. <laughs>